excited that you're here today. I'm ready for this workout with you. I'm so proud of you for showing up. No equipment needed as you heard in the intro. All you're gonna need today is just some space to move, definitely your water and your sweat towel. And if you have something near you, a chair, a bench, a bed, a couch, to put your foot up on for split squats, then that'll work as well. But if not, I'll show you how to do that without it, okay? Very exciting hit workout today. We've got 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest, three rounds through one or two or three exercises at a time, but every move you'll do three times. Might just have them grouped up differently throughout the workout to keep some good variety. Okay, so let's jump into the warm up. Big wide stance, we're gonna go down in the middle first in three, two, one, let's go. And back up. Hamstring stretch and then squeeze the glutes to come back in. Great job. Every movement today, you're gonna to feel the ways to step it up. You're always gonna know the ways to dial it back if you need to. Give me one more. Stay down here, good job. Bend and straighten your legs, one at a time. We've got an upper body, core, cardio, lower body. Okay, all of them kind of mixed up throughout the workout today, so you won't just have a straight arm fatigue or a straight leg fatigue. It'll be full body. Keeping the intensity high means you judge your output. So know when you're going hard. Know when you need to dial it back for a second to keep your form. All right, walk it over. Left leg points over, and we go up and down. Great job. Nice work. We've got some compound moves and we've got some basic moves. So you'll recognize a lot of them. Stay down here for five, four, two, one. Great job, push it back up and let's step up and switch. Good, just rotate here, up and down. Great job. Last one, stay down here. Big stretch in the hip. Perfect, take it back, both feet are back. You're in a down dog position, lift your hips up. Good, and then take it into a plank. We will have some planks today, so let's get your glutes flexed. Your ribs are kind of pulled in neutral with your hips. Good, drop your hips down, lift the chest up. Nice job. Come up into a plank and then hop it out wide into a squat. Good job. No burpees today, so good news. <laughs> if you're looking forward to that, we won't have burpees. And come on up and stand. Good job. Let's squat four, three, two, and one. Heels to glutes. Great work. So we're gonna start off in about 25 seconds with three exercises. A push up, knee tap, then we're gonna go bicycles, and then we've got pop squat hops, okay? 30 seconds each, 15 seconds to get into the position for your next move. Push up, knee taps. You've got one push up, come to the top, tap. Okay, if you need to go down to your knees for the push up, totally fine, then plank, knee tap. Ready? Let's go, 30 seconds. Great job, exhale on your way up. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, good. Flip it over, we have bicycles now. Okay, laying it down flat. You're gonna hold on to your head, crunch up here. If you need to modify, heels are down, cross. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Good, 30 seconds to make this tougher. Come up to a seated position, right here, okay? Great work, keep it moving, drive the heels out away, and big twist in your torso, six, five, Two, one, and come back up to standing with me. We're gonna go pop, squat, hops. Your legs go 
together, wide, up. Together, wide, up. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, come on. In, out, up. And you land soft with a bent knee. Fifteen. Good, seven. Two, one, rest. All right, come on back down, push-ups with a knee tap. Eight seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Great work, 15 more seconds. Five, four. And rest, good. Bicycles, flip it over. <sighs> Seated if you wanna step it up. Lay it down flat. If you wanna dial it back still, one heel stays on the ground the whole time. Let's go. Good, strong core. 15. Seven. Three, two, one, great work. Come on up. Whew. All right, 10 seconds. Pop squats. In, out, up. Make sure your knees don't cave in. Three, two, one, let's go. Good job. Nice, 15, drop it a little lower. We've got one more round through this circuit. Four, two, one. All right, shake your arms out. Come on down. Last round, push up knee taps. Good job, five seconds. Here we go, come on, push, push, push. Two, one. Let's go. Try when you push up to make sure you stay balanced. Okay, when you come onto one leg, keep your core tight. 15. Six, five. Two, one, rest. Bicycles, let's go. Whew. All right, cradle your head, sit up if you can. Three, come on, two, one, last round. Fifteen, good work. Six. Three, two, one, rest. And roll it up. Last round, pop squats, and we're moving on. You're doing great. Here we go. Feet start together, jump it out, then up. Three, two, one, let's go. Fifteen. Good work. Come on, move, move. Five. 
five, three, two, one, and rest. Big deep breath. Great job, we're moving on. Whew. All right, I think I'm gonna keep it three exercise circuits like that through the whole workout today. So, moving on to plank jack reaches, mermaid crunches, and a lunge pulse times three, and switch. Plank jack reaches are optional here, okay? So, we start with the plank jack, okay? When your legs go wide, you can reach. So it's here, reach, 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 or you can just stay here, okay? After that, we flip it over onto the back, and we'll go mermaid crunches, rolling your legs side to side. I'll show you that when we get there. And then lunge pulse times three. You're gonna be here, and switch, okay? So let's go, plank jack reaches. Two, one, here we go. Good job, when your feet are wide, that's creating a little tripod effect here, right? So when they're together, if you try to balance, it's gonna be a lot tougher. Seven. Good job. Finish here, four, three, two, one. Flip it over to your back. Now you're gonna roll side to side, okay? So you're gonna crunch, roll, crunch, roll, okay? You're just rolling glute to glute, basically. Three, two, one, let's go. Crunch, roll flat, up. So part of the work is in, kind of keeping this canoe position as you rotate over. Good work. 10. Five. Two, one, good. Come on up. Now you can either hop or step with this one. So you're going down with your knees. Three, two, one. And switch or step switch. Ready? Let's go. And you can also hop for three, or you can just pulse. Good, 13. Four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, round two, let's go. Plank jack reaches. Seven. Two, one, let's go. Great work, lots of stabilization in your shoulders. I know, Whew. I know we just had a really good arm workout yesterday. Nine seconds. Think about your core here. And rest. Great job. Now let's leave it on this right hip for the second round. Third round, we're gonna just go to the left hip. Okay, so it's here. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Good, so I tap my elbow down, and then when I crunch, I'm up a little higher, and back down. Fifteen, good job, let's go. There you go, staying on that glute. Four, two, one, rest, good. We're gonna keep switching for the lunges. So don't worry, we won't lunge on one leg the whole time. Three, and switch. Ready, let's go. Three, two, one, come on. Try to switch quick, use your arms. Good. 
Good work. 15, go, go, go. Nice work. Six, five. Two, one, rest. Last round, plank jack reaches. Let's go, you're doing fantastic. Last round here, this is circuit two. Let's close it out. Four, three, two, let's go. There you go, nice solid core here. Fourteen, thirteen. Three, two, one. Left hip, let's lay it down. You're on the other side now, okay? You're not necessarily on the hip bone, you're on the glute muscle. Ready? Let's go. Last round of these. Three, two, one. Here we go. Fifteen, good job. Stay on the glute. Squeeze. Four. Good job. Three, two, one. Rest. <laughs> okay. Last round. Three pops and switch. Pulses or jumps. Stepping or jump switching. Three, two, one. Let's go. There you go. Down, down, down. Make sure you stay low. So if you're up here, not as hard. Stay down. 10, come on. Three, two, one. Rest. Great job. Walk it out. Moving on to another trio. We've got dips on the bench or on the ground. Plank hip taps. Here, tap, tap. And then either a split squat, hop, or just a regular split squat with body weight. Okay, so dips are first, then your plank hip taps. Then your split squats. Okay, so they can be here. Do you feel pretty confident with split squats? Here, down, up, down, up. Let's go in five with your dips. Come on, triceps. Three, two, one. You can do this on the ground as well. Same kind of crab position, just set your butt down. Good job, the further your feet are, the tougher this is. So when you go out, more body weight is on your arms. Three, two, one, rest. Come on down to your forearms. Plank hip taps. I want you to keep your elbows on the ground. Tap, tap. Ready? Five seconds, let's go. Three, two, one, come on. Good job, good job. Think of your belly button coming up and over, so don't let it roll here. Oh, hello, Moxie. <laughs> come here. Nine. It's been a while since you've been out here, girl. Moxie hip taps. Four. Three, two, one, rest. Good job. Hello. All right, let's take our left foot back. Whew, you're doing great. <laughs> Ready? Five seconds. Trust me, you don't want to do these mocks. Three, two, one, let's go. If you're hopping or you're just sitting, either way, Moxie's getting us through one of our favorite exercises. <laughs> Good job. 
Stay over that front leg. There you go, 12, 11. If you started jumping and you're getting tired, just move. There you go. Three, two, one, rest. Next round, we'll come back and do the opposite leg. As for now, we're back to dips. Whew. What are you doing out here? <laughs> All right, let's go. Three, two, one, come on. You sit. Great job. Elbows go straight back. Fifteen. Come on, come on, push. Push through the burn. Eight, seven. Three, two, one, rest. I know I can't be the only dog mom or dad that gets a lot of attention when you go down to a plank position. <laughs> you want some company, just drop down into a plank, right? Here we go, plank hip taps. Three, two, one, let's go. Great job, keep the core strong, up and over with your belly button. Eight, seven, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. All right, switch it over. We're going split squats on the other leg. I might need your help, Mox. Whew. Three, you left me at my most vulnerable time. Let's go. Good work. All right, let's focus. Cute distraction, but we're working hard. <laughs> Move, if you're hopping, keep hopping. If you're sitting, keep your form really great. Front leg focus. Five, four, two, one. One last round. We're gonna split up that last round of split squats. So you'll do 15 seconds, 15 seconds, okay? Back to dips. Let's close it out, come on. We're so close to the end. Two, one, let's go. Good work, last 15, come on. Six, five, two, one. All right, blank hip taps. You're doing great, big deep breath. Here we go, elbows, five, four, three, two, one. Come on. That's it. 15, come on. Six. Three, two, one. All right, let's start off with the left leg. 15 seconds here, 15 seconds on the other leg. Ready? Four, three, two, one, let's go. Five seconds and you step down and switch. Four, three, two, one, switch and go. Come on. And if it takes you a second here, just go a couple seconds after I say stop to get those reps in. You got six. Two, one, and rest. Okay. Whew. Great work. Grab water. We're almost there. Uh, 
All right, we've got shoulder taps, mountain climbers, and standing kicks, okay? So you don't need your bench anymore if you wanna move it out of the way. Shoulder tap, here, here. Down, up, tap, tap, okay? After that, mountain climbers. After that, you're gonna stand up, kicks to the front. Five seconds, let's go, four, Come on, three, two, one, drop it down, down, up, up, tap, tap. That's it. Fifteen seconds, I want you to go right into mountain climbers, okay? You got ten seconds. Without resting, we'll go climbers in four. Two, one, let's go. Thirty seconds here. Then we'll rest and come up. Fifteen. Four. Three, two, one, good. All right, come on up. We're gonna go back, kick, back, switch. Okay, so you're already back. You're bringing it from the back and kicking, okay? Or you could just do kicks. Three, two, one, let's go. Good job, your back foot comes from the back, right up, back, and switch. 10 seconds. Four. And rest. Great job. You got two more rounds of that circuit. Breathe. Shoulder tap drop downs in five. Uh, let's go. Great work. 15. You're right there. Come on, come on. Six, five. Two, one, mountain climbers, go! Breathe, I know. This is our last circuit though. We get through this, we do one more round of each, and you made it through 30 minute hit. 15, come on. That's it, breathe. Four, three, two, one, come on. Right up. All right. Beautiful job. Let's go in seven. Four, three, two, one. Back and kick, switch. You know what's coming next, right? Non-stop, okay? We're going right from here, right into it, right into it. Here you go, five seconds, you drop down, shoulder tap, two, one, let's go. There you go. Beautiful. 10 more seconds and you're coming, mountain climbers. Five, three, two, one, climbers, let's go. Good job, give me 10 more seconds, 10, nine. You hop up, you finish at the top, three, Two, come on up, let's go.
This is it, 23 seconds, and we've made it. Come on, 14. Seven. Three, two, one. And you've made it to your cool down. Oh my gosh. Come on down. We're gonna have a seat. Breathe deep. Legs out front. Exhale. And stretch. Great job. Take your legs to the side. Let's drop down. Elbows if you can. Still filling your lungs up. Okay, just give me about two minutes here. I will have you out of here feeling good. Good, all right. Flowing into it. Come on over. Left foot up top. Right foot out back. Twist open. Good, hands down. Lift the hips up. Beautiful, step up and switch. Same stretch, other leg. You made it, amazing job today. All right, straighten your legs up. That one, I hope you felt yourself push through in a way that you thought, okay, this is level one, this is level two, and then you just pulled a little bit more out and really crushed it there at the end. Step up, hips up in the air. If you can, get your hands right behind your tailbone, interlock your fingers, let your head hang, and just let your arms relax over top. Breathe. Good, bring it back to the tailbone, bend your knees just a little bit, and roll it up. Coming up slowly, let yourself get oriented. And exhale, pull over. I know this workout was one where we had a short amount of time. I wanted to get the most amount of work in for you. So this workout was as efficient as it possibly can be. I want you to remember this. In terms of how hard you work and the efficiency and the effectiveness in another area of your life, okay? Not saying every workout has to be short and sweaty and you're out of breath and you're on the floor. Definitely not. But when you are looking at something as a big project, just think about, can I put this first step in with all I've got? Okay, maybe it's nutrition, maybe it's holiday balance or staying focused, right? Focus on a deadline, focus on your goals. No matter what time of year it is, there's always gonna be a distraction if you can look at it that way. All right, everything can be a distraction. And if you let the distractions take more of your attention than your focus, they will crowd your path. Focus on your path. Focus on am I moving forward in the right way? Am I efficient in my pursuit? Am I staying focused and not focusing too much on what is a distraction? Okay, where your focus goes, your energy flows. So if you're saying, oh my gosh, it's the holidays, I've got so much to do, this is so stressful, then yeah, it's gonna be a lot tougher because you're making it that way in your mind. We have different times allotted, we have different requirements always. Okay, what has to happen is you always have to stay right here, centered on you. You can be there, you can be there, but you have to be here first. In order to show up in those places as your best self, you can't just let everyone else take all the energy, right? Stay here, stay here. I want your best life for you ever. And that starts with taking care of yourself. Don't forget it, okay? So head out today and right after this workout, do something for you, just for you. Grab a smoothie, grab a meal, get in the shower, whatever it is, do something just for you to keep this going. You're gonna show up as your best self in all areas of your life. All right, before you head out today, number one, very proud of you. Number two, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Comment below what you're gonna do right after this for you and keep that rocking. I love you, so proud of you. See you tomorrow. <laughs>